In this video, we're going to be comparing the TCL Stylus 5G versus the Galaxy A53 5G. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone had a blessed day out there. We have the Galaxy A53 5G on the right side and the TCL Stylus 5G on the left side. Both of these devices are 5G activated uh, and they are available at Metro by T-Mobile, T-Mobile, and I believe only the Galaxy A53 5G is available for the unlocked variant right now but we should be getting an unlocked variant soon for the stylus. Now we are gonna be comparing some specifications. We're gonna do a couple tests on these devices and what's really interesting is the Geekbench scores on both these devices are so insanely close and I think you guys are gonna be super, super surprised. But before that, we're gonna take a look at the specifications on both these devices. So first and foremost, for the TCL Stylus 5G on the left, we have a glass front, plastic frame, plastic back, and obviously we have a stylus inside of this device device so if that is something that you need then that's definitely going to be the device for you uh, but I would wait because there are some other drawbacks to that device now for the Galaxy A53 5G uh, we do have a glass front and that is going to be Gorilla Glass 5 we have a plastic frame and a plastic back we also have hybrid dual sim inside of the A53 5G we have an IP67 dust and water resistance as well up to one meter so we do have some extra specifications like Gorilla Glass 5 and you know obviously IP67 that we don't actually get inside of the TCL Stylus 5G. Now what's really weird is that the uh, Galaxy A53 5G isn't much more expensive than the TCL Stylus 5G so the retail price of the Stylus 5G is $279.99 and the A53 5G you can pick it up on Amazon right now for about $349 so it's only about a $70 difference. Now for the displays on the TCL Stylus 5G we have an IPS L LCD display so it's not going to be super AMOLED or anything uh, and we also have a 1080p screen and that's going to have a 395 ppi so pretty decent ppi in all honesty going over to the a53 we do actually have a super AMOLED display 120 hertz refresh rate which is really nice and smooth I really do like the a53 5g um, I've been liking the fluidity of it so far. If you guys didn't know, it has half of the refresh rate on the Stylus 5G, so we only have a 60 hertz refresh rate on the Stylus 5G. So if you guys are used to higher refresh rates, I would go with the A53 5G because the Stylus 5G feels a little slow to be quite honest. Now getting to the operating system on the TCL Stylus 5G, we have Android 12. Uh, we are going to be running a custom software that's going to be TCL UI 4.0. And we do have a MediaTek Dimensity 7. 700 processor that's going to be a MediaTek processor that we have in the TCL Stylus 5G. Compared to the Galaxy A53 5G, we have Android 12 as well, and obviously One UI 4.1 for Samsung. As far as the chipset, we have the Exynos 1280, and I assume that's a better processor than the Dimensity 700, uh, obviously because the uh, A53 is a little bit more of a premium device, especially since it can run video games like Call of Duty Mobile and Genshin Impact and PUBG with ease and the TCL Stylus 5G can't even boot up those games so that's definitely something to know if you guys want to look more into the gaming on both these devices um, I'll leave the links in the description down below now as far as the memory in the TCL Stylus 5G we have 128 gigabytes of internal storage 4 gigabytes of RAM and we also have a dedicated slot for a micro SD card so that's great if you'd like to expand your storage uh, going over the Galaxy A53 5G this is gonna be a little bit more complicated so we do have a micro SD card slot in there and it shares a sim slot so you can either use one or the other as far as the highest storage you can get on the A53 5G we can get 256 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of RAM um, and as far as the lowest, we can get 128 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of RAM. So the base model Galaxy A53 has the same storage and the same amount of RAM as the Stylus 5G. Now getting into the main cameras on the Stylus 5G right there, we have a 50 megapixel main camera. That's going to be our wide angle camera. Our secondary is gonna be a five megapixel ultra wide and our third is gonna be a two megapixel macro. And our fourth is gonna be a two megapixel depth sensor. And we can 
record up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. We also have an LED flash, obviously, right here. We have HDR and we have panorama and a few other pretty cool features on that device. All in all, pretty subpar camera as far as videos go and uh, photography goes, especially in low light. Now going over to the Galaxy A53 5G, we have a 64 megapixel main camera that's going to be our wide camera. Our secondary is going to be a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Our third is going to be a 5 megapixel macro and our fourth is going to be a 5 megapixel depth. That will also obviously right there have an LED flash, panorama, HDR, but we can shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080 at 30 or 60 frames per second and this camera guys the optimization or the software that they utilized in the galaxy a53 5g is excellent they fixed the 4k video recording the 1080 60 frame per second video recording it looks beautiful much better camera than the tcl stylus 5g much 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 better camera so if a camera is important and the camera quality is important to you i would already just go with the galaxy a53 5g definitely worth the extra 50 to 70 dollars now getting to the selfie cameras on the stylus 5g we have a 13 megapixel front facing ultra wide camera that's capable of recording at 1080p 30 frames per second and on the galaxy a53 our front facing camera has 32 megapixels uh, that's going to be a wide angle camera and we are going to have hdr and we can shoot up to 4k at 30 frames per second both these devices do have stereo speakers but one thing that the galaxy a53 5g is missing is a headphone jack so the head phone jack is present on the TCL stylus 5G but not the Galaxy A53 5G so that's something that you uh, get on the TCL stylus 5G that you don't get on here so big ups to TCL for keeping that both these devices also have NFC so great to see that on here both devices also have fingerprint sensors uh, however the TCL stylus 5G's fingerprint sensor is present on the right side of the phone uh, and it doubles as the power button so it's going to be a physical fingerprint sensor instead of a bionic or in-screen fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy A53 5G much more accurate fingerprint sensor on the a53 5g i have so much trouble with the tcl stylus 5g it's it's honestly terrible i thought it was decent at first but you know i went to sleep woke up and tried to open it with my fingerprint and i had to make a whole new fingerprint again so terrible fingerprint sensor on the TCL Stylus 5G. As far as our battery goes, we do have a 4,000 milliamp battery. It's gonna be non-removable on the TCL Stylus 5G and we can charge up to 18 watts. Uh, going over the A53 5G, uh, we do have a 5,000 milliamp battery, so a thousand more milliamps and we can charge this device at up to 25 watts. So that is definitely much quicker than the TCL Stylus 5G. The thing that sucks though is we don't actually get a charger inside of the A53's box, but we do get one in the TCL Stylus's box. So that's uh, one drawback. Now I took Geekbench scores today and honestly, this was super, super surprising. Uh, but the TCL Stylus 5G got a single core score of 554 and a multi-core score of 1738. As far as the A53 goes, we got a single core score of 503 and a multi-core score of 1788. Now the weird thing about this though, is that I did have a test prior to this April 16th and we got a much higher score. Uh, but this was the uh, most recent one that I took today. But if you want to go back and count it as the older one, which I feel like would be a little bit more accurate, honestly, uh, we got a single core score of 741 and a multi-core score of 1909. Still not too much of a big difference. I feel like both these devices have some decent stuff in their own respect. Um, but I feel like the Galaxy A53 5G is much much more solid than the TCL Stylus 5G. And that's why the winner, even paying $70 more to pick up the Galaxy A53, uh, is the A53, obviously. But yeah, I would go with the Galaxy A53 5G if you guys want a really decent phone at a decent price tag. We also have up to four major operating system updates up until 2026 on the A53 5G. And I believe we only have one major OS update on the TCL Stylus 5G. So it's an easy winner with the A53 5G right here. Amazing specs, amazing price, and uh, pretty much unbeatable at this point in time. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Hopefully this video did give you some value and give you some input on what you should pick up next as far as your phone goes. But this has been Stefan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.